What's up, my friends? Welcome back to our blind let's play of The Witcher. Here we are with Geralt and Yavin, and we are in the sewers here. We're about to head up top. Where did they say we were going to go? So, uh, the, um, what was it? The Order's Monastery or something like that? That was the place, if I can recall correctly, it was the place in the temple quarter that was always locked that we could not go into. So that seems to be the place that we're trying to get to. But before that, let's go ahead and look at the journal here. We defeated the Zugul, we must find a way out of the sewers and head for the cloister. So yeah, that's the cloister of the order. So what? The Grand Master was just chilling there the whole time? When we didn't see him? Until what? When did we actually meet him? The fifth chapter we met him. Anyways, we got the identity thing. Foltes and I talked about the women in my life and I realized I have feelings for Triss. My amnesia prevents me from remembering a relationship in the past, but I have the impression I once loved the sorceress deeply. Triss suggests how I might regain my memory and I think that at heart she wants me to realize she was the love of my life. Witcher secrets here. My final confrontation with the Grand Master is at hand. I must reach the cloister where my enemies hide. It will be a rough passage through the war-torn city, so let's just do that. It doesn't seem like we have anything else here in the journals. So the temple quarter, like, what can be in here now? The uprising non-humans have changed the temple quarter of Azima beyond recognition. Fires rage everywhere and some streets are blocked by makeshift barricades. In many places, the Scoia'tael clash with the Temerian army and the Knights of the Order. Many of the inhabitants have fled to the swamps. Others hide in the cellars and houses, praying for a quick end to the rioting. All kinds of missionaries and... Even Angelists? Is that how you say it? Even Angelists? Are taking advantage of the situation, preaching about divine wrath and eminent end of the world. Obviously, there's crazies about in times of uh, contempt like this. So that's probably it, friends. All right, no point in waiting around. Let's go ahead and get up top. We should probably take potions while we're in here. We made like a hell of a lot of swallows just last episode. So let's just take one and then let's take a pony owl. And I think we're good. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead up top. Whoop the Grandmaster's ass and get our secrets and then I really don't know, friends. I don't know if we're actually going to get to the Grandmaster right now. Or if this is the end, I, I just don't want it to end. Eternal fire. Let us pray. This game has been very fun. I just don't want it to end. They pray instead of fighting fires. Dwan. Have sympathy. They've lost their homes and loved ones. Prayer helps them accept their fate. Hmm. Many elves mourn today, too. Obviously. I mean, shit's not easy for either race, Yavin. Elves, dwarves, humans, it just doesn't matter. Times like this, people are just... The medicine's finished. All right. You waste my time. I'm not giving her that stuff. It's obviously the same lady. So, I don't think there's anybody here to talk to four people let's just go ahead and get up top it's obviously yeah right over here Damn, i didn't think we were right this close but i guess we are hey we got some freaking exercise friends right here come on big boy what do we got we're we using silver here oh no we got steel he's just a monster watch yourself you even don't get beat up now See ya. Eat that, you big freak. See ya. Or Siegfried's post. Can we go on Siegfried's post? Nah, of course he locked it. Remember that time in like the first chapter or something like that? He said, I got some business in my quarters to deal with. Man, he went back there to deal with himself. I'm telling you. He got all excited for killing that, uh... 
freaking uh what was it cockatrice went back to his quarters and fondled himself and you hit him Carol? what are you doing pal there we go let me go ahead and cut your kneecaps off time to enter the cloister baby not until we go over here and bust some people up let's go help these people here Oh, I guess we're not really helping nobody. Done for. Damn, Steel is a beast. Excuse me, let me uh, kill Cam your belt line there, pal. Gavin, you having trouble? Well, you kill him, Yavin. You're wrecking me, Yavin, here, pal. He's messing up my chain there. Anyways, good job, Yavin. High five, pal. That damn, <laughs> that damn hound was harder than the, uh, the freaking greater brother there. But I'm wondering, like, the past. So, obviously, if we decide with the order, we would have, um, Siegfried here. But the neutral path, who the hell would be with us? Nobody? I wonder if the neutral pass will have, like, Zoltan with us or something. That would be badass. Bloody ass! He got me! You're bleeding heavily. Not good. Go on. The Squirtail will care for me. Kill that bastard to Eldersburg. Go! I'll come back for you. See you later, Yavin. Have a good one, buddy. I hope he doesn't die on me now. So this is it? This is gonna let me walk in? Hey, pal. Halt! No passage. Grandmaster's orders. I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off. The Grandmaster seeks solitude. Sorry, you give me no choice. I'm here on a matter Shut. Sorry. Okay. Here, look at this ring. It comes with an ard. Line them up. Chop them down. Nothing new here. Geralt done kill cam the whole fucking game already. See ya. I must prepare. I must prepare for the fight to the death. Oh. Well, I think, uh... Oh, there's a key. Uh, there's another key. I think we're good. I don't need to prepare. Besides throwing a save in the mix, I, I think we're good. We already prepared just before we came up here. Look, my man's, what is this saying? Shaking hands and kissing babies? Look at him. Gerald of Rivia on deck. Behold, my people. They feast at my table, find warmth at my fire, and glow with happiness to be separated from the turmoil of war. You're deluded if you think the sight of women and children will make me leave you alone. I do not intend to deceive you. The white frost approaches, a cataclysm that will bury the world beneath snow and ice. Each night, I dream of icy wastelands and the death of the old civilizations. I've heard Ithlina's prophecy. The cataclysm is unavoidable. Kings prefer to wage local wars to expand their influence, while elves have become terrorists fighting for a lost cause. The world needs a savior, a man of the moment, someone to kindle the flame in people's hearts. Ha. <laughs> you, savior of the world. Come, I will show you something. Humans are weak, frail, and inclined toward evil. I shall create a new man, perfect, tempered in the eternal fire. Finished? Because if you are... You doubt me? I do not blame you. I had my doubts too. Yet now, my vision is strong.
Uh oh, friends. Icy planes or ice planes? Interesting. What the hell did he take us? Did he teleport us somewhere? I like. I can't tell if this guy is bad or not. Like he seems like he might be good in his own way, but we got. I gotta see the story here because he is just. I don't know. He's a commodity to me right now. I really can't tell if he's bad or not. Holy. Behold, the scales will fall from your eyes, and you will understand. Juggler's tricks. I expected more. You think this an illusion? Oh no, Geralt, it's nothing of the sort. Where are we? See for yourself. Follow me. Like, what the hell has he done to us? Are we with him there? Is he playing mind tricks with us, or did he take us somewhere? Teleport us. Obviously, this is the White Frost stuff, or something. This is so intriguing! What the hell's going on, friends? <laughs> Holy shit! Now that you have seen the ice encased towers of Vizima, do you understand? You're rambling to Aldersburg. What do you want? This is the future. The White Frost has destroyed human civilization. This is the end of time. Do we lose heart, surrender? Never. We can yet avoid our fate. Save your rhetoric for the plebs. Understand. The Order and Salamandra acted only to save humanity. Every criminal claims a higher cause. You lack humility. Time for a lesson in some. So this is the damn future. Vazima's future. This is the White Frost coming to take care of Vazima. Coming for our world. This is so intriguing, man. Like, he is... How, I wonder how he's doing this. Like, taking us into a future here. But it could ultimately be an illusion in his crazy mind or something. I have no idea. What's up? What are these efforts? Excuse me. They're like fire genies or something. Maybe I should get silver out? Probably. See ya, plebs. Alright, where the hell do we go? Let's just follow the red markings. Over here, I guess. Triss? Been wondering where the hell she is. The unexpected awaits you here. How did you get here? You're stronger than the Grand Master thought. You summoned me. How? The Grand Master invited you into a vision of the future enclosed in his mind, yet you brought your own visions and specters. So this isn't real? It's more than a dream. Should you die here, your death will be very real. I shall accompany you, assist you. But only a blizzard follows us, with nothing beyond it but death. She sounds so tranquil. You know what I mean? She doesn't sound You'll like... Reach him soon. Triss. Don't give up. Wow. What did she hit us with? A barrier or something? As our shield again? Skull heads. We read about these things. They were like extinct or something, remember? Come here, buddy. See ya. Have a good one, friend. Hell yeah, Triss. Let's do it, baby. Me and you. Taking over the world. Who else wants some? Geralt of freaking Rivia. We are sitting there. I guess we're not. I, we're just in his mind. It's, it's just like. I wonder if this shit is real or if it's just him being crazy. It's gotta be. This is like Ithleen's prophecy deal like stuff here. I guess. 
we going the right way here or what? Oh, there's no maps for this location? All right, I guess let's we'll just keep on running. We'll eventually find the way we gotta go. Hell yeah, baby, Abigail's on deck too. You haven't changed a bit, Witcher. Again, you emerge from nowhere to kill humans. What humans? As always, you're perplexing. Behold the remains of humanity. Ape men, wretched creatures worthy of disdain. Some my own great-grandchildren. They're human? The white frost has stripped humanity of its luxurious robes. All that's left are beasts that think only of eating and procreating. They are human no longer. Their base instincts drive them like the lynch mob from which you saved me. I'm grateful. Take my gift. Thank you. Thank you for the swallow and uh Hold on, man. This is some bullshit. We're gonna get we're gonna get drugged up here, friends. Let's take some Thunderbolt. I don't think we can take anything else. Let's just let's that for now. Let's get all the good stuff on board. Where the hell are we supposed to go? I can't open the map here. This way, perhaps? It's so cool that like people from our past are actively uh coming up. Must be this way. Are actively coming up into this. To help us in some kind of way. Holy shit, scared me right out my small clothes. Hey, Geralt, wake up, pal. Man, that shield Triss has got going on is badass. We gotta help Triss, I don't want her to die. Man, we are not losing any stamina. Like, whatsoever. There he is. Let's go talk to the, uh, crazy person. I would say he's got something wrong with him, friends. But if this well indeed is the future, man, we are going to be in some shit when all of this comes to an end. I see you have met our degenerate great-grandchildren. Do you understand now why you cannot oppose my plan? You have yet to say how all this ice justifies your crimes. Only a grand plan pursued without hesitation could save humanity from what I saw in my visions. Trust your daydreams that much? I never asked for these visions, this gift. But you chose how to use it. Many times you insisted special gifts should be used for just causes. I chose the most just of causes, saving millions of lives. And pursued it by ending hundreds of others. How many more do you aim to condemn? You have no notion of the approaching cataclysm. The spirits of those who perished wander here. Tell them they had no right to survive. Interesting. What did he say just there? He said something about... How does he know about what we're saying? Like, in the past. He said something about... You many times said that you need to use your gifts for... Use your gifts for good? Who the hell did we say that to? I know I said that to somebody this playthrough. Wild Hunt? See ya! Man, who did we say that to? Oh my god, I don't even remember. King of the Wild Hunt? Hey, buddy. Sparrowhawk on deck, friends. Figured he'd come back. You cannot stop this, Witcher. Death follows you. Oh, how they know race are the hardest enemy in the game. Carol, if you don't wake up, I'm telling you. Man, friends, we are just having a hard time here. Chris, you're gonna get killed. I hope not. Man, we are just electrocuting everything. It's so cool. So we got the uh, King of the Wild Hunt here. We got... Look at the journal. Grandmaster wields powerful magic, though he has some trouble to control it. He has drawn me into a vision of the icy plains which a civilization, the civilized world will turn into with the coming of the White Frost. I must overcome Jax Aldersburg, Vision, climb the peak where I will find him. Cool. 
Peruvial. Here we go. Like everybody. This is so cool. You killed them though they were not guilty. They did not wish to die of the cold, nor to live on as specters. No one gave them a choice. Was I supposed to let myself get killed? That's not my style, Teruvio. None of us choose the path we must follow. I understand. You had to fight for dignity. You had no choice. Each does, as destiny ordains. Before you proceed on the dangerous path before you accept this gift. Thank you, Teruvio. Must keep moving, friends. Can't stop now. I don't know what she gave me, but... Probably something good. Can't go over there. Yeah, so the King of the Wild hunts here. Jock to Aldersburg is putting us into the future. This is just so intriguing. I still, like... I'm really trying to think on who we said that to about your powers. I feel like we said that to, uh... What's his face? The boy. Alvin. Didn't we tell Alvin to use his powers for good? But how would, like, Jock know about that? I wonder. That's the only person I can remember, like, saying something about use their powers for good. Interesting. Maybe Jock captured Alvin. Or something. What's up, Wraith? See ya! Let's go talk to Jock. Jockies? Jock? Whatever his damn name is. Do you finally understand, obstinate Witcher? Humanity will perish. The few who remain will become animals. My plan would avoid this. What plan, dammit? The human nations can only survive the cold through a mass exodus south. With you leading them? I'm prepared to do so. I see the future. I command respect. I would rule well. Of course, I had to get rid of any standing in the way, especially non-humans. Why so obsessed about other races? I was prepared to sacrifice anything, to save humanity at all costs. Do you know the saying, the ends justify the means? I do. You sound pathetic to Eldersburg, as if you believed your own lies. Non-humans, their extinction is not a goal, but a means. Since you detest humans so, I'll leave you with my no longer human serfs. You have much in common. You should get along. Come on now. Your pesky little, uh, oh, your mutants. Hey, friend. See ya. Have a good one, pal. Oh, Triss. You knocked him out of it. <laughs> Damn, Triss. All right. There we go. So he said we'll survive this with a mass exodus south or whatever the hell it is. Like, how does that even make sense? That the white frost is going to destroy the world? It's going to destroy the whole god darn world. Not going down to south, because south's weather's good, and south of here is obviously Nilfgaard. So you're saying Nilfgaard's gonna survive and not this? This almost means, it almost feels like it's a, it's a way for him to conquer Nilfgaard then. The way this is going on here. Mass Exodus South is just, no, it just doesn't even make sense. Mother freaking Siegfried on deck, baby! Look at this, look at his haircut, friends. Take it in. The Order could have saved humanity. A coup d'etat. Murder. Experiments on children. Too high a price. Why am I talking to you? You claim to protect humans, yet you've thrown them to the beast. Why? Because you're not human yourself. I should have seen your true face and killed you when I had the chance. Try me now. Draw your sword, freak! Damn! Here we go again, Siegfried. Brought you back as the undead and about to kill you again. What's wrong with him? Get him, Triss. Get the kill shot on him, Triss. You got him, girl. Right there. I slap him. Goodbye to your head, Siegfried. That haircut is rolling down the hill. See ya. Have a good one. Ha <laughs> ha, Siegfried. 
Damn, you lost your best quality, Siegfried. What a schmuck. Why, though? Why? What do we do? You know what I mean? It's just sad. He's, like, perverted by the Order's just dumbness. It's just, like, it makes me want to play again so I can give him a redemption. You know what I mean? Side with the Order so I could have Siegfried going, I don't know, a better way. Hell yeah, Alvin. Wondering where the hell you were, pal. Look, Alvin. It's just an illusion, Triss. It's an illusion of Alvin? Damn, we don't even get to talk to the little bugger? I was about to say, he could definitely be here. He's a freaking source. What is that? See that, friends? It's creepy. It's definitely a body, isn't it? Oh, man, let's get out of here. Oh, it's him. Probably. How stubborn you are. I could use you to shepherd my sheep during the first years of winter. I doubt you mean it. You stole our secrets from Kaer Morin, used them for the worst ends. Your guild's tenets proved a failure. Too much individualism. I needed holy knights as able as witches, evoking an image of nobility, not a hand stretched out for coin. Bullshit. You wanted power. If you say so. When my troops arrive, ask what they think of me as their master. Alright, the yeah, Aldersburg. More of your freaking head games here. Oh, come on. What did they get us with? Damn, Triss is done for. We need to get steel out, friends. That's what's going on here. See ya! And we better turn around. Oh boy, it's giving us the uh, business. Goodbye. Antris, I got wrecked there. Probably because I have no damn potions on board anymore. Shit. Well, we're gonna get... I don't think I have a white honey. All good. We'll have to fight the Aldersburg without no damn potions, friends. Princess Ada on deck now. Jesus. Look, Geralt. Humans, monsters. Easy to mistake one for the other. True, your highness. I should know, wouldn't you say? The Grand Master is clearly a madman. Even I wouldn't dare pursue a plan like his. We must stop him. Milady, your wish is my command. You have class, a rare quality. I wish to fight alongside you. Call it a whim. Holy, scared the hell out of me. Hell yeah, Ada, come on. Holy moly. Oh yeah, baby, we got a striggle on deck, friends. Shit, friends. Chris, heal us. Oh my word. The enemies are actually hard here. Triss got knocked the hell out again. Ada killed her. I mean, ain't no way they're gonna kill Ada. What is hurting us? Yeah. 
so yeah. Did Ada fall off the mountain? Did she just fall off? Here we must part. Why? At the heart of the vision, he controls all. You must go on alone. See you, Triss. I'll be back. Good luck, Geralt. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, we can... Hell yeah, we can... We can meditate. Well, let's meditate for like an hour. <laughs> that was just... Awesome. Here, we'll just chilled and meditated for a minute. Hell yeah, friends. All right, well, let's take Swallow. And we're all out of Tony or uh, Thunderbolt, though, sadly. Got anything that uh, stuns and shit? Willow. I mean, we need to stun and knock down. Hell yeah, baby. All right, come on. Bring it on, Grandmaster. I think enough is enough. Now, do you see the need to act, whatever the price? Geralt, open your eyes, open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Lebiota's Hospital. By pursuing me, you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that. But they need to be taught and led. They need you. I also have an offer. Surrender. Withdraw your mutants. Humble yourself before the king. You'll save many lives. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits. So he is reaching into the inevitable that there's no way humanity is going to survive. And the only way is with his mutants. That's it. Holy fucking moly. Get off my ass. It's like he's automatically going to the point where everything is getting wiped out here. There's got to be a way to stop this frost. I mean, hopefully, maybe. Damn, that's a cool sword, Jack. Bring it on, big boy. Come on now. All right, what's going on here? <laughs> Did we kill him? See ya, Jack. Oh, King of the Wild Hunt. <laughs> Why is he after Jock, man, so much? Why is he even here? We meet again, Wolf. Have you fulfilled your destiny? Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection, all remain unknown. Words, words, words. You tried cheating destiny. You took an oath, remember? I am here to collect on that promise. I remember nothing. Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kaer Morhen, an omen of its downfall. I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You 
brought death upon Raymond. Endangered Shani, mindful only of your goals. Chaos followed in your wake. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword. You threw gold to the Skoyatel, fueling new massacres. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. How did you feel when your elven friend set fire to Vizima and slaughtered Duan? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersburg is mine. You dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. <laughs> there ain't no way we're going to yield to him. Take him. I don't care what fate. Like, he wants Jock the Aldersburg. Why does he want him? And how is he even in his mind here? This is so crazy. The Wild Hunt is so powerful, friends. I don't know what's going on. This King of the Wild Hunt is so powerful. So, yeah. Hell no, we're not yielding to him. We ain't giving Jock over to him. Never. This is between him and me. You aim to kill him anyway. True. But for my reasons, and they are nothing to you. Clear off while you can. Go before it's too late. You want to fight me? So be it. Your flight from death ends here. Draw your sword. I was afraid you'd suggest chess. Oh, Geralt, the freaking court jester here. Let's go ahead and just whoop his ass, friends. Holy fucking shit. We need to get silver. Come here, big boy. The racer just coming through the woodworks here, friends. I'm just going to work on the, the king of the wild hunt here. Oh, he stunned us. How? I thought we were immune to stun and stuff. See ya. Whooped his ass. Is that it? What do we gotta do here? I was about to say, are we supposed to hit his body on the ground or something? That sword is for monsters. Oh, good riddance. I guess you can be called a monster there, Jack. Lunacy. What the hell is that? What the hell necklace was that?
You're awake, Geralt. I was getting worried. Dandelion? Where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Long enough. The Order's been smashed into bits and Foltus has regained power. And Yavin? He was here a second ago, keeping an eye on you till I arrived. Then he had to go. Foltest will let him disappear. No doubt. After all, the non-humans tipped the scales in Foltest's favor. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter. Crazy. Dandelion's voice changed again. What the hell was that about? Look at the journal, friends. Um... In the real world again, I must recover the stolen secrets and end the story. The Grandmaster should have them. So all this stuff is still the same. Wow, man. So he has a Dimeridium amulet. And secrets of... From Kaer Morhen. The Dimeridium amulet? Like, is this... No. Holy shit. I think I get it, friends. I think... Fucking Jock the Aldersburg is Alvin. Has to be. No. Can't be. I get... I don't know. <laughs> it's Jock the Aldersburg Alvin? This is the Dimeridium Amulet. It's the one... This is the one we made for Alvin. It would make sense because he... It, it is him because he said... Remember he, he talked about a trustworthy source? Alvin was a source? Jock the Aldersburg was freaking Alvin. In the past. He like came in the past. But why did he do that? He came... How? How did he get himself as a child to come into the future? So he went back in the past as he was a child and took his child self and put his self into the future. Why though? What was the point? I don't know friends. That's so crazy. But yeah, that has to be. Oh my goodness. We're burning up here, man, with, uh, just theories, I'm guessing. It has to be, it has to be. I recovered the stolen Witcher secrets, completing the mission Vesemir gave me. Time to close the chapter. I wonder, I wonder if Dandelion will find it inspiring. Obviously, it will. So, is there nothing else here? I'm sure there's just nothing. Wow, my friends, what a freaking epic end to that. The whole King of the Wild Hunt talked about it as it, it is what it is from the past. He said something about us in the past as well. So we're going to have something going on with the Wild Hunt at some point, obviously, because I mean, I do know the title of The Witcher 3 is obviously Wild Hunt, but I won't spoil anything for myself by looking at stuff. So I don't know. I can't believe this is Alvin. I actually feel very sad that that was Alvin. Had to be. Jock the Aldersburg and Alvin. Does that kind of mix here? I, I don't know. But I don't know. I'm going to make a hard save here. And then talk to Dandelion. I guess that's it, friends. Wow. Crazy. So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control inborn abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed. You've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? Go get a beer, you, Zoltan, all the rest of them. Celebrate Dandelion. It's been a hell of a journey, friend. I guess, yeah. Only now do I actually feel like our new life is beginning, friends. No memory of nothing, forging our own path. Hopefully we can get on the path of the Witcher, literally. And yeah, get back to saving freaking normal people from monsters instead of getting in politics. Let's hope. But who knows, friends? I just can't believe it's actually over. It's awesome, man. What a great game. Only now do I feel my new life beginning. Born anew. 
baptized in blood and fire. A new ballad? Sounds too pompous, Dandelion. Take a look around. Life is simple, unpredictable, and beautiful. That's something new. You returned from the netherworld, got entangled in a real mess. You faced beasts and bastards who did you harm. And you're telling me life is beautiful? You're exaggerating again. Something ends, something begins. I'll take the last of the stolen secrets, take a deep breath, and move on. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. The bloody fighting in Vizima revealed Jack de Aldersburg's madness. People ceased trusting knights of the Order, began treating them like enemies. Foltest took advantage and limited the Order's power. He forgave the non-humans their mutiny as they assisted him in quelling the Order's rebellion. Yet the King's mercy was short-lived, and it could not quell disdain and hatred. Scoia'tael units soon reappeared along Forest Road. Yavin's fame as the one who had defeated the Order drew more elven youth to his cause. The sorceresses failed to gain influence over Foltest. The wartime chaos brought only misery. In time, all returned to normal. Both the righteous and the villainous survived. Few knew what had really happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia. Yet they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely. Man, if I could salute everyone in this game, I totally would right now. All our friends that was on the uh, path here with us. So awesome, man. Freaking awesome game, friends. Temeria and Redania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Farewell, sire. Holy shit, was that another Witcher? Wow, was that another Witcher, friends? Trying to slay Foltest there? Crazy. Wow, that is the uh, beginning of the next game, I'm sure. And what's going to happen in the other one, because obviously that one, I do know the names of the games, I downloaded them all. Um, 
Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings or something like that. So, wow, man. What a great game, friends. I uh, didn't expect this game to actually be this damn good. Like, from what I've heard about this game, I'm, like, one to judge things myself. Like, I'm a little different of a gamer than other people. I don't really care about the graphics, um, game, like, gameplay. I don't really care too much about combat and stuff. I really care about the story and the characters, and this game really just... I'm, this game was like a 10 out of 10, man. It was amazing from start to finish. I didn't have any bad parts of this game. I mean, there was a few things that obviously could have improved, but I'm sure they improved it in the second and third game. But, wow. So we got just this Witcher, or whatever that was. I guess it was somebody that we don't know because it would have showed his whole face. So we got some Witcher trying to kill Foltest here. Wow. And that's going to lead into uh, whatever Witcher 2 is going to be. And we got a lot of stuff to look forward to because we got this whole deal with the uh, White Frost coming. That's obviously coming at some point if Jock's uh, visions of the future has any indication of what's going to happen. And then we got the prophecy with Ithlene. And then we got the whole entanglement here with the Wild Hunt and the King of the Wild Hunt. Did we actually kill him? I don't know if that was truly him or it was just a just a specter of him, I guess. I have no idea. And then it was just a great thing, man. A great ending. Now, Jock Aldersburg was Alvin, too. That's just crazy, friends. But um, so this is not really the end of The Witcher 1, at least. This is going to be the end of the base game. I'm going to do them two DLCs. Price and neutrality right there and side effect. I'm going to do them ones. And then after them ones, I'm probably not going to do the rest because it's all fan made stuff. So. I'm going to put out another video here shortly about the uh, this game. I want to do a thoughts video. I want to talk about the whole, the whole journey in The Witcher because this was blind and I wanted to start doing that for uh, blind games and such. So it's going to be really cool to just sit back, reflect on all the awesome stuff that's happened in this game. But yeah, that's it. This is breaking a journey. I'm happy for... Uh, for us that we finished this whole journey from start to finish this is this is a game that if people truly honestly skip this game and go to witcher 2 and 3 they are really doing themselves a disservice because this game was within top three of the best games i've ever played so hats off man hats off to cd project and what they did with this game and then i'm just looking forward to the next friends and all you uh all the people all you friends out there that stuck with me to the end here and enjoyed it as much as I have. Thank you, I salute you, and as always, I guess I will see you into uh, in the next one. I'll see you more in uh, Witcher 1, because we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna do the DLCs, then we'll go to the second one. Now, you got to bear with me on the second one. We're not gonna jump right into the second one. We're gonna take, take a little time, finish what else we have on the channel, and then we'll jump into the second one. But it's not gonna be that far off. You can uh, definitely expect to, to be right around the corner-ish. Anyways, friends, as always, stay safe and uh, enjoy the credits. I'll let it keep running. And then I'll see you in the, uh, the DLCs. Take it easy, my friends. Have a good one.